at the ball receiver, not the two men you want to see coming through to Dupree. To Alangi. Free ball effectively. James to Tuolangi. Beats okay. defence round the, the corner. Threat of Tuolangi in that outside centre spot. He's playing 12 today, but he's just to Priya. Tuolangi. Tuolangi. Actually, bigger. Adendorf firing past Sam James. Sam James. Tuolangi. Busting through Dingwall. Do not need detailing at this stage. I think everybody appreciates this is a man who's been to hell and back on that front. A man who often has found himself injured just because of his ability to be able to stay on his feet. And what that does is attract so many defenders in around him. So he's got that excess weight whilst trying to force against. Hard to establish what happened, having looked at a couple of replays, but limping from the field, a second England man limping from the field. We'll let him get off, fellas, and, and then Red. Potentially crippling blow to the Sale Sharks, of course, having brought him to Manchester from Leicester with big fanfare and with good reason. That is a, a kick in the guts for Steve Diamond. Well, they signed him for what might happen over the next few weeks. And some rather damaging injuries to important men for club and for country. Manu Tulangi with ice wrapped firmly around that Achilles. And if he's that the region, then potentially there is a long layoff because that is a nasty, nasty injury. Eight, nine months at, at best. I would say for an injury of that type, which will put all sorts of things into question for Manu Tuolangi. Well, if it's as serious as what we're considering or thinking, it looks like a serious Achilles injury from Manu Tuolangi.